So the next fly we're going to tie in the Deadly Dozen series, a half a dozen Deadly Dark Dry Flies, is the life, what we call the Life Jacket LK Caddis. And this fly is a dual purpose fly, as well as imitating the caddis fly and doing a pretty good job of that and taking many fish, it also supports the weight of nymphs. So it's a good fly for using in the technique we call the duo. The materials we use for this fly are, is a Marito DO4 heavyweight hook, size 12, some select cow elk, some gecko dubbing, this is available from Doug Swisher in the United States. It's a very hydrophobic dubbing which is why we use it for this material. The very buoyant underbody is tied with Chiemco Aero Wing. This is Chiemco Aero Wing. This is cinnamon. Occasionally we'll use orange as a, for a more attractive style fly. And this is cinnamon for a more natural sedge colour. And we will wind a genetic grizzle hackle like, the, like this one, through the body material. So let's start the fly right now. So I'll catch the thread in and take it to the rear of the hook. And then I'll take the arrow wing and I'll take two strands together Now this provides the underbody, the buoyant underbody for this fly. So I'll tie in two strands about halfway along the hook, tighten nice and firmly and go back again. So it's tied in very tight and then I'll form a loop, a small loop at the tail and this will trap a nice bubble of air which will give the fly added buoyancy. Now this is a polypropylene material which is both hydrophobic and it traps hair. So it's a double whammy in terms of producing buoyancy for this fly. So I will take it halfway down the hook, tie off three segments like so and then back towards the loop and then we won't tie that too tight, we'll leave a, a little bit more hanging over which adds even more buoyancy. So that's a nice buoyant underbody that traps plenty of air. And now we're going to select a nice genetic grizzle hackle. And this will form the legs on the fly. So I will tie in the grizzle hackle like so, very firmly over the top of the polypropylene and then we will add the body dubbing which is the gecko here. This is sulphur gecko here which is a nice light orange colour and this fly is very much like an attractor fly for pulling fish up in pockets. Very, very effective. So just finger dub the gecko air on like so and take, take it down about halfway down the hook, two thirds of the way, like so. And then we can wind the hackle through the body material. Three turns is enough. Nice and firmly and tie that off very, very firmly. Not just once, but several times like so and that will stop. The hackle pulling loose. And then finally, we just need to trim the fibers across the top because that is where the wing is going to go and the wing is going to be formed with, Hel with elk hair. So now I'm going to take the elk hair 
and place it towards the end of the hook like so over the top. Uh, I'm doing this by eye but you can use a stacker to get a nice neat finish and then one nice turn like that and pull the fibers tight and then through once tight again through twice going towards the eye every time and this will give us a nice head effect for the final insect so we get that nice splayed effect always holding tight the fibers with this hand and then we can trim we can see the eye of the hook now now when the when the fly is tied off and finished we can actually make that much much neater so as soon as we've cleared enough of the eye to whip finish we can tie several turns of thread like so in front of that eye and we can see just what a beautiful fly this is already it's a very very nice profile has a very very just like the natural caddis with the tent shaped wings has the right shape and when that's very firmly tied off we can trim that now the only thing I'll do now to finish this fly is trim these extra fibers and I'll just do this very quickly so you can see the finished fly and there we go that's the life jacket LK caddis it's an extremely buoyant fly it will support the weight of a nymph all day long I, uh, it will take many fish but it will still float high and dry and it's a perfect fly for using in the technique we call the duo so with the life jacket LK caddis it's a dual purpose fly as I've demonstrated so we're getting the best of both worlds it's both an extremely buoyant dry fly And not only that, it's suspending a nymph. Now, where trout often lie up is where the fly is now. And that was a look like a take there. So the indicator qualities of the fly are immediately obvious. When we fish water like this, we don't aim at the main rip of fast current. Fish tend to sit just to the edge of the fast current in this type of pocket water environment. So I'm aiming the LK caddis along the current seams along the edge waiting for a response either from the fly dipping under which would indicate the fish has taken the nymph like that there we go got that fish took the nymph that the life jacket caddis was suspended on Su suspended underneath lovely little wild fish fantastic fish gorgeous little trap so the LK caddis does a great job as an indicator as a pretty little trout illustrated barbless hook of course pretty pretty little wild trout but I'm sure there's one or two more fish in this pocket so we'll carry on now this fly is so buoyant that even after it's been dragged under by a fish it will sit straight back to the surface it will come straight back to the surface so in these pockets I'm using there's this life jacket LK caddis with a nymph suspended underneath it 
This gives me the best of both worlds. I can fish both the dry fly and the nymph simultaneously. And obviously we're on a small stream, so the water's not too deep. There we go, that's a big wild fish on that nymph and the beauty of this, the beauty of this elk air caddis is that we can use fish both the dry fly and the nymph simultaneously and we'll have a look at this stunning wild trout, it's a nice fish for a small stream like this. Safely in the net. So that fish took the nymph, suspended under the life jacket caddis, and it's in the deadly dozen for two reasons. One, it's supremely buoyant, and it will suspend a small nymph like that all day long. And two, it will catch fish in its own right. Now we're going to have a look at this pretty wild trout and get him back. There he goes. Stunning, stunning wild trout. Nice fish for a small stream like that. And the elk air caddis allows us to present the nymph effectively and catch these beautiful wild fish. So back he goes, always face them upstream and he's off like a shot. Uh, the life jacket elk air caddis is a fantastic fly in these pocket waters and just sitting on that rock there just testing the fly and straight away we're into a little fish so it came up in this pocket water and this is where this elk air caddis really really excels beautiful little trout and these trout in these pocket waters very rarely Beautiful, stunning little fish. Very rarely get caught.